Hi, this is Erin Peliquin from MCP Actions. Today I'm going to show you how to change the size of a template that you've created using our Display It for Web Lightroom templates. I'm going to start by going to a template that I have created already in the print module. I explained how to do this in our before and after video for Display It that we've got available on our website. So I've got this before and after. And all of our Display It for Web templates are sized to be approximately 1,000 inches. Some are a few more pixels or a few fewer pixels due to the constraints of making these templates in Lightroom. So my blog, for instance, is 600 pixels wide. I'd need to take this 1,000 pixel wide template and convert it to 600 pixels. I've put together the photos and created the collage, as you can see here. And the way that we finish all our templates is by going to Print Job and selecting Print to File. I am going to save this in a template exports folder that I have on my desktop. And I'm going to save this as Kristen before and after. So you can see right up here that we have a progress bar as the saving process completes. Now that it's completed, I'm going to return to my library module and I'm going to synchronize that folder that is on my desktop. So you can see over here in my folders, I've selected desktop. I'm right clicking to select synchronize folder going to hit the synchronize button and I've got quite a few folders on my desktop so it's going to want to bring in lots of images for me but really this is the only folder that I want to synchronize the template exports and so now I'm going to hit the import button and there's my file it's been imported and I'm going to export it once again so right click select export so once this export window opens, I'm going to select export to same folder as original for the location. And I'm going to make sure that add to catalog is checked. I do want this photo to be named Kristen before and after 600 pixels. I'm going to keep JPEG and sRGB selected. I want the quality to be pretty high. Resize to fit. I'm going to make sure that this has a check mark with 600 as the width. And I'm going to be turning off sharpening here. It should have been sharpened plenty when we made the original template. However, if you find that you need additional sharpening, you can always turn this back on. If you wanted to add a watermark here, just a single watermark over the entire image, you could do that using this watermark feature. Finally, I'll hit the export button and we can see that it processed up here at the top. And now I can go back to my template exports folder and here is the 600 pixel wide that I can upload to Facebook or my blog or whatever I need to do. Now I'm going to show you one more method for changing the size of a template that might be easier for you depending on your workflow. So to resize this 1000 pixel wide template, I want to edit it in Photoshop. The shortcut for that, if you have Photoshop or Photoshop Elements installed, is Command or Control plus the letter E. So that's Command E on a Mac and Control E on a PC. So in this window, I have to decide whether I want to overwrite my original 1000 pixel wide image or whether I want to edit a copy. In this case, there's no reason for me not to override the image that's 1000 pixels wide because I'm never going to use it. So I will keep edit original selected. If I wanted both a 1000 pixel wide image as well as a 600 pixel wide image, I would select edit a copy. So this photo is opened and I go to the image image size menu and in the pixel dimensions I simply change the width to 600 select OK and then I type command or control S to save this JPEG and finally command or control W to close the image and now when I return to Lightroom I can see that this image has been resized it's now exactly the same size as that 600 pixel image that we created before 
So that's simply an alternate way of resizing images. Whichever one works best for you is fine. Um, and this second method, as I said, does work in both full Photoshop and Photoshop elements. Thanks so much for watching. If you have additional questions, make sure to check out the PDF instructions that came in your download. Um, those are very detailed and can answer many of the questions that you have about using the Display It templates for Lightroom. We also have videos about how to install and use the templates, how to rotate the layout if you want to take a particular layout from horizontal to vertical or vice versa. We have a video about making a before and after template, as well as customizing identity plates and watermarks, and another video about making um, custom templates using digital paper or color blocks. And finally, we've got a video about troubleshooting. Thanks so much for watching and enjoy your templates.